Hey guys, my here, and I hope this lighting is okay because I have not filmed at this time of day ever, but I am going to be doing a couple of unboxings today. I got a couple albums in the mail and I'm super excited to open them. So I have Lovely's second full length album, uh, Chigamudi, to unbox. I also have 1990X's 365 Fresh, which is so big. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be this big. Um, but yeah, that's Hyuna and Idon and Hui. And then of course I have Yesung's album, both versions of it. And he's about to release a Japanese single. So will he ever let me sleep? I'm not sure. But yeah, all of these albums basically came out like right as I was graduating. So I didn't get a chance to buy any of them <laughs> until pretty recently. I guess we'll start with I probably should start with Ye Sung because I feel like that'll take the longest. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and get started. But yeah, I'm super excited. I believe this one is the limited version and this one is the normal version. I had to get both obviously because Ye Sung, he's my favorite vocalist of the KRY members and also he's in Super Junior. So like if any of them had had multiple versions of their album, I would have gotten them. So I guess we'll start with the limited edition of Ye Sung's album. This is like the black cover. I'll zoom out probably in a couple minutes, but I just wanted to show you guys this weird thing. The spine, it stresses me out. <laughs> so this is the front of Ye Sung's album. This is the limited edition. I'm gonna do both in this video. Um, there are seven songs on this album and so far, I've only heard Paper Umbrella and Hibernation. Oh, I've heard the one with Kyuyen too. That's a really good song. That's the next thing I need to buy is Ye Sung's Japanese single and then Kyuyen's Korean single. <sighs> never ends, literally never ends. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm already taking the photo cards out of this so we don't need to worry about that and we can just go through this. Oh my gosh. I'm so handsome. I'm so happy to finally own this. Like I said, Ye Sung is my favorite of the three KRY members vocally. And just when I heard he was having a comeback, I got so excited because I just love his vocal tone. So here's the lyrics to Paper Umbrella. Everybody bashes like SM's packaging and everything. But one thing I really like about SM is that they always do the um, titles of songs in Korean as well as in English if it doesn't already have like an only English title Very Friendly towards international fans like YG and JYP might do that too, but I buy less J JYP and YG actually I think JYP doesn't do it. I buy like barely any YG like Have not bought any YG since icons first half of their mini album And I wanted to buy winners new thing, but like yeah enough about YG groups. And then here is Hibernation. I love the like pictures and then there's like a drawing on it, like the flowers that's on him. So pretty. I'm also like less upset about all the black and white photos because I'm not really a big fan of black and white photos because I have two photo books to look through, this one and the normal edition. So lots of Yesung to enjoy. Just walking, chilling. Now he's laying in a field. And this is for All But You, which I haven't heard yet. Hopefully by the time I upload this video, I've had a chance to listen to all the songs. And then he has an umbrella. Don't think it's raining, but he has an umbrella. You are so pretty. This one actually looks way better on camera than it does in real life. This is like a very dark photo, but I think the lighting's making it look like really light. So handsome. I love you, Sung. But of course, every time I get a solo subunit album for SJ in the mail, I have to talk about their comeback at the second half of this year because I'm super excited. Oh, this is really cool. This reminds me of, um, like the devil, or no, magic teaser photos though. 
Yeah, this reminds me of magic teaser photos. He uploaded this on his Instagram, I believe. He posts on Instagram like literally seven times a day. Um, and I thought it, it was like a throwback picture from that era for Super Junior. And then I like saw it as a teaser photo and I was like, oh, it was a teaser photo. Oh, I love these outfits. Or this outfit, it's all the same outfit. Oh my gosh, look how handsome. And then this is So Close Yet So Far. This is the sixth song. And then we have uh, At The Time, the yes, um, solo version. He's on a rooftop. And we have some credits. And the dark photo of Yesung. I almost just said Kyuyun for a second. I don't know why. This is a Yesung solo album. And this is the CD for this version. I'm not sure if the CDs are the same. We'll have to check that when we go. Oh no, they're not. So this CD is white. And I don't believe there's any difference in the music on the limited edition, but like I said, we will check that in a second. And I'll go through all the photo cards and stuff at the end. I already pulled them out and looked at them because like I obviously knew which number I was getting. But yeah, so this is the limited edition. Really just, I don't like that. I don't, it stresses me out. Very much stresses me out. Why couldn't you just give it like a black spine? And then this is the normal edition. Um, so yeah, this one does have a spine. It has a white spine. See? And then different picture on the back and front cover. And the CD is black. Kind of. Well, let's look. Let's look to see if music is the same. Oh, it's not the same. Music's not the same. There's six songs on the normal version and seven songs on this. The seventh song is at that time the Yesung solo version. So that's what makes this one different musically, which is good because a big part of like my reasoning for buying a lot of groups like minus Super Junior and Infinite and like A Pink and After School, I don't really care like buying multiple versions about. But if I'm missing music on certain versions, like the thing that'll always get me is like this version has this song, this version has this song. So here is the black CD. So I guess they're not the same music wise. So if you were gonna get one version, I would say get the limited edition. But let's look through this photo book. Oh, these photos were in the limited edition. Still so pretty though. We're going through the tracks again. So we have Paper Umbrella, which is just like such an amazing song. I'm so biased, but it's such a beautiful song. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. And there's the beach scene again. Such gorgeous photos. I feel like these photo books are different. Like I'm not entirely, I feel like this one was not in the, the, the limited edition. Oh, it was. I'm gonna keep flipping through the limited edition while we do this normal edition. Oh, this is insane. That's fine on the limited edition, stresses me out. All these photos are like the same. That makes me so sad, SM. I think SM did that for Tan's most recent solo album too, right? At people who bought Tan's most recent solo album plus three pack. I feel like that was a thing that I heard about. But I don't collect Girls' Generation or soloists, so.
We're just gonna keep looking through the photos even though they're the same because they're just really pretty. They honestly probably went to like the exact same place where, um, I feel like this is different. No, it's not. Just kidding. And then here's the last song. And this dark photo of Yesung plus the credits. And that is it for the normal edition. And we will go through the photo cards that you get in these albums. So from what I've seen, I think the limited edition only has like two or three cards in it. Um, but definitely go look in the description box and I will write everything correctly down there. So if you don't want to listen to what I'm saying right now, definitely feel free not to. So for the limited edition, this black version, I got these two photo cards, which I've seen a lot of people get this one, but this one is less familiar to me. So I'm not sure if there's two or three or what, but here are the backs. Who is outside mowing? lawn right now why are you doing this i still have two more albums to unbox after this so yeah those are the photo cards that i got in the limited edition and then the photo card i got in the normal edition one of the reasons i looked at the photo cards um one was because i knew it was yesung and just for solo albums uh, except for like the exception of Yen's, which had five different photo cards and i was like i need all five photo cards this is a really important album for Yen. Blah, 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 back when i did that um I wanted to see if the photo cards in this version and this version were the same or different, and they're not. So I got this photo card. So I think there might be a different set of photo cards, and you only get one in this version, or at least I only got one. So I will definitely go and double check all of that information before I upload this video. Um, so you guys can have the correct information about Yesung's album. But anyways, I'm super excited to own this. Um, I am so excited Yesung had another solo album. I get more Yesung music to listen to. In both of the albums, you get a SM ad. Super cool. Wow. Awesome. And you get a super cool genie code. If you want to see what else I have coming, go ahead and look down in the description box down below. Like I said, the photo books are exactly the same. So if you're leaning towards buying one version, buy this version. You'll get one more photo. There is one photo different because there's one song different. So you get an extra song, an extra page in the photo book. And also you get two photo cards. So that to me is much more worth it if you're only looking to buy one version. And... This version is really pretty, like the cover is really pretty, but I am much more a fan of black albums than white albums, it's just personal preference. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and look down in the description box below to see what else I have coming, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!